Under Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107, allowances made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips, the balance of fa in favor of fair use. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on where you're tuning in from and at what time you're tuning in. This is your girl, Lex, and welcome to my page. Please take this time to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Like, comment, and share this video. Before we get into it, remember that all things on this page are alleged and are in my opinion. This is just for commentary and just to see what you guys think, as I'll definitely be telling you what I think. Now let's get into it. Hey y'all, I'm out on the road, but I wanted to talk on this Martell and Melody situation with the children. I noticed that um, he was talking a whole lot of trash, I guess, to people in his comment section who was asking him, like, are you for real requesting full custody of the kids? And he made a statement as saying, you know, I never slack when it comes to mine. Um, ask anyone who knows uh, me slash us. And my thing is, is it's always been a conversation of, oh, well, Mel wasn't doing what she was supposed to, quote unquote, supposed to be doing um, at home and, you know, this, that and the other. But we also know, and Diana Rose actually made a, a good point that the last few years, whatever he was requesting, Mel did say that she did it. And it was to the point where he couldn't even handle it, if you know what I mean. Uh, he couldn't handle it. So... It's like, you have a nerve. And truth be told, if you're outside of the house, there's no way you can be giving yourself, giving 100%. No one person can give 100% here and have more to give anywhere else. And we know you was giving when it came to coleslaw. So you're concerned about Mel giving 100%, but in the meantime, you're not. And even if... Even if we go back to before coleslaw, do you mean to tell me you was giving 100%, 100%? Because people are quick to talk about what the next person's doing, but they don't address what they did or are doing. And Mel may have been like, okay, this is a marriage, this has to work. So she was willing to do her part, but he clearly wasn't willing to do his. See, Martel, when I tell you he is a narcissist that thinks and cares only about himself, he is that type of person where he would be giving stipulations, but meanwhile not living up to his own. There's no way you can be giving 100% one place and have more to give somewhere else. It just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. So... That was one thing I wanted to speak on. The next thing I noticed, uh, as Diana Rose, as well as Empress Radio had talked about, it seems as if the court date is either being pushed back or dismissed possibly, allegedly, because he wasn't prepared. Hmm. Martel talks a big game, but he doesn't hold his own. He needs someone to hold his hand and to push him, which tells me that someone is the one telling him possibly to go to court you know talking in his ear because you have no initiative to the point where you have a court date you're the one who set this up and then you're not prepared you don't submit what you're supposed to submit you don't dot your i's and cross your t's sir what are you what, what are you doing with your life what are you doing with your life what was the purpose of even going through this? Maybe it's a stunt to keep Mel from um, changing her last name. Because we know he he believes he possesses Mel. So maybe this is all a stunt for him. You know, it's like he literally just, he can't get enough of Mel. So he tries to do something in some way, shape, and form at all times. When she allowed him to be in his, her space... It was all cool, it was all fine. Then you file custody, for full custody? Sir, just cause you do little weekends or 
you know, do pop up, um, what you call those things, the, the bouncy houses doesn't make you a great dad. And I already said a million times before, anyone willing to jeopardize not only their marriage, but the health of their children, wife, and themselves, not a good husband, not a good father. Because at the end of the day, he was running out, running the streets during a whole pandemic, okay? A whole pandemic, not a half, not a quarter of a pandemic, a whole pandemic, okay? People were dying left and right, and here he is wandering the streets. For what? He He's catering to his smallest member, and I'm just like, sir, you need to do better. So miss me with the, oh, he's a great dad, he's there. I don't, no, no, and no. Mm -mm. I can't even give you that because you do not, you do not put your kids in jeopardy if you were a great dad. And if that was, if you did that, you wouldn't be in the predicament that you're in now where you're stuck with that girl for the next at least 18 years because she is gonna be the bane of your existence. What you should have been doing is trying to get custody of that child. It's funny how you're so concerned about the Eminem kids, trying to make it seem as if Mel only gives them juice, doesn't you know, take care of them, whatever you're even alleging now, talking about in the comments, he made a, he made a statement as if like, oh, well, did you ask why? Ask her why I'm asking for full custody. Sir, we know why, because you're full of crap and you want to try to make her life miserable if she's not with you. Like, you can miss me with the whole, like, insinuations. Because if you had something, trust me, you would have put it out there to make everyone know she's not as great as you think she is. He would have he would have jumped at the opportunity because he's always looked at as the bad person and he hates the attention and the accolades and the praise that Mel gets. So trust me, if it would have knocked her down a few notches, he would have been spitting that information out. And if you had such information to the point where you felt like your children were in harm to you know that you're asking for full custody clearly it's something where you feel like your kids aren't in a situation where they're prospering or maybe they're in danger so then you don't have your ducks in a row when it comes to court you know what i'm saying like god forbid they were in danger which we know they're not but let's say worst case scenario right they're in danger you allow for them to have the time between now and the next time court is a court date is given if they even give you another date you allow for that time in order for anything to happen you see what i'm saying that's what i'm that's why i say like you can't say you're a great father because there's no way if my child has a fever right i'm not waiting like um it'll be all right like to, and when i say fever because we're all parents we're not running to the to the emergency room every time your kid run a 100 or 101 temp but let's say your kid's running the temple 103 for a day or half a day or whatever and it's not going down you're not going to slack on that when it comes to your kids you're not going to slack on it when even when they do run a 101 102 fever bet you're on and making sure they're getting their medicine to make sure that that temp does go down because you don't want to play with it. You're not going to let it just run its course. No. You see what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I'm like, you can't fix your mouth to say he's a good parent. Because if you really, if you really thought your kids were in danger, you wouldn't have slacked on whatever the court was asking you for. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you really thought your kids were in danger, you would have put out what it was that was such an issue. But you don't, you just want to be in Mel's presence. You just want to harass her. You want to make her miserable. You want to knock her down a few notches. Like, let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade. Like, you just want to be in her presence. You want to make her miserable. You want to do whatever you can do to just have her name in your mouth or be associated with her. Any, any, anything. Marriage isn't something where you're just throwing away what you have or you know what i'm saying like 
people equate a, a marriage to like a, a boyfriend girlfriend relationship and it's not the same thing it's not the same thing you have to put in work in a marriage like you literally have to put in work and sometimes you're not going to get your way but that doesn't grant you the opportunity to run out and run the streets and be in this one's face and that one's face you know what i'm saying like marriage is work it's a commitment it's a contract it's a promise marriage shouldn't be so disposable for people and when i say disposable i mean in the sense of ruining your marriage just because you're not getting your way that's also called a temper tantrum it's also done by little kids see when you're an adult like it says in a word when i was a child i spake as a child i understood as a child and i thought as a child but when i became a man i put away childish things like you're not gonna always get what you want that's life things aren't gonna always be fair that's life like to sit here and to throw away a whole marriage because you're not getting what you want allegedly because like i said earlier we already know that mel has said the last few years she was putting in that extra work making sure he was getting all the things that he asked for and he still wasn't happy because he's just a narcissist you can't ever please a narcissist okay let's make that clear but nonetheless even if she wasn't that's life when has life ever been fair if life was fair we wouldn't have the the one percent who make millions billions a year and then you have majority of the people on the bottom of the totem pole on the poor end if life was fair the money would be given out equally if life was fair maybe we would have no money and everything would just be free and we would all just work for free and get food for free and you know but that's unrealistic that's not how life is so in the same aspect understand that you're not going to always get what you want right so when you're in a marriage you have to understand you it's a contractual agreement you agreed and promised to be with this person for better or for worse the times where she's too tired or he's too tired you got to be like okay take that l it's like i said life is not fair right it's not gonna always be you getting what you want so now she's not putting out according to martel and so you go find it somewhere else that's not marriage that's not marriage that's you being in a relationship that's you dating and i don't condone cheating whether you're not married or not but when you get married it brings it to a different notch it brings it to a different level but some people don't it's like they sign the papers but they don't understand what they're getting themselves into in a sense this is a commitment this isn't just a oh i'm gonna do what i want when i want how i want it and it goes both ways but just because you're not getting something doesn't mean you can go find it somewhere else. That's that's not how that works. But this is why nothing he touches will be blessed. And, you know, she's just going to keep doing better, keep prospering. Because no weapon formed against her will prosper. So she's going to keep prospering. Everything he touch will die because he's just being evil. It's evil, evil. But let me know what you think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.